Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a pretty cool website that was actually sent to me by a number of you guys. I believe I've gotten a few comments about this and a couple uh, Twitter DMs um, kind of tell me about this whole website and what it's about and what this website is called. It's on screen right now. Uh, it's called The Old Net. You can actually access it by going to theoldnet.com. I'll have that link down below in the video description. And basically what it is, is um, this this website that basically allows you to view older versions of web pages for a ton of different websites. Uh, now you might think that oh this is just like the Wayback Machine and yes you'd be right this actually uses the Wayback Machine's API as they say right down here at the bottom it uses the Internet Archive Wayback Machine API but what's kind of a little different about this website is it is designed for older computers so say that you have like an older uh, PC that runs Windows 95 or Windows 98 and you have an older version of Internet Explorer or Netscape Navigator uh, the Internet Archive's Wayback Machine Machine, chances are it's not going to load in those older browsers because it is a more advanced modern web page. Well, this website kind of basically takes the Internet Archive's massive repository of these older uh, website snapshots, essentially, and kind of brings it to an interface that you can access on an older web browser. And you can see that we are here in Internet Explorer 1.5. I actually did a video on this of actually trying to get this to run on Windows 10. Spoiler alert, it does work at least somewhat, but if you want to hear kind of more about that whole process go ahead and check out this video um, it'll be up in the cards right now and with it being designed for older computers you can see in just older web browsers as you can see it's a very 90s looking uh, website right here. It honestly looks pretty cool. And there's multiple ways to actually go to all of these websites. Uh, you can actually literally type in any address that you want, choose a year, and the big thing is you can choose to enable scripts or not. You can also do a search for a website, so they have the uh, word Microsoft in here. There's also an option to enable a nav bar, and something that I think is uh, really cool is the web web browser. As you can see it says for modern systems. Uh, this is not going to work in this old version of Internet Explorer that I have here, but I, I will We'll show you what it is later on when we actually take a look at it running under Microsoft Edge here. So let's say that I want to uh, go to google.com and see how it looked in 1996. Now again, this is under Internet Explorer 1.5 right here. So let's actually hit uh, get it with uh, no scripts on and just hit get it right here. And here we go. This is what Google looked like in 1996. Yeah, this is the old landing page where they actually had you choose between the search engine prototype and the might work some of the time prototype that is much more up to date. So we'll go to the Google search engine prototype and here it is loading. Uh, this is back when it was still um, uh, copyrighted to Stanford University. So that's definitely been a while. Copyright 1997 to 1998. So I think it, it actually might have pulled a newer version of the website, which is also something that the Internet Archives Wayback Machine will do. Like if there's not a uh, version of like this page right here from 1996, it'll try to pull the uh, next, you know, most recent version, basically. So this is one from 1998, as you can see up here in the address bar. And uh, this is back when it was uh, accessed by going to google.stanford.edu. So they, they didn't even have like their own, you know, dot com web address yet. And you can see that the web page didn't load 100% successfully. There's an image here that is completely missing, but we can probably still search the web. Let's try to hit Google search here. And no, I spoke too soon. It's not going to work. One thing that I am finding about running this under this old browser is there are some features of this website that do not work. And one of them is the nav bar. If we try to go to the, to the nav bar, you'll see it just will show this blank page. And this even says it's for older systems. So that, you know, just doesn't work under this old browser. And so this is one way to kind of view um, all, you know, basically any website that you want from any of these years here. But you can also go down to, they have this list of the most visited sites. You can see all of these sites right here are the, uh, basically just as it says, the most visited sites on the old net. And this feature actually doesn't work under this old version of Internet Explorer. It actually spits out an error when you try to go to any of these websites, which is kind of annoying. And also they have something that I think is pretty cool. This little guest book here where you can actually go in here and kind of sign your name. It doesn't load completely in uh, this version of Internet Explorer here, but I can go in here and kind of type in my channel name and we'll say hello from uh, YouTube exclamation point and we will sign the guest book and uh, it's actually not going to work properly, so we might have to do that later on um, when we view this uh, page in Edge. So yeah, that is the guest book. We will come back to that later on. Um, and you can see here they also have stats of uh, you know how many page views and how many visitors that they have. 
Um, there's also some news here where they kind of give you updates about the actual website. Also down here, there are randomized uh, homepage listings for both GeoCities and AOL. Um, so yeah, every 15 minutes, they will basically um, display, at, at least for, for this one up here, uh, they will display um, a just random list of homepages that were published on GeoCities or AOL. So pretty cool. Down here, there's a, a ton of like these um, old buttons or something that was very popular back in like the 90s for people to put on their websites. So you have like one for windows95.com, there's a Netscape, an Internet Explorer, WinZip. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. And then if we scroll down here, they have a ton of uh, websites that are actually categorized. So we have a gaming section, a staff favorites section. So there's things like CNET. Uh, GeoCities, uh, New York Times, there's an old Apple website you can view if you want. And then, uh, last but not least, they have search engines. So you could, you know, go to Yahoo, AltaVista, Webcrawler, or Google. And uh, below that, you have a web ring section. Um, below that, you have a, a list of the most popular browsers. And this is actually the most popular browsers that are accessing uh, this website. So the most popular is uh, Mozilla 5.0. And there's been 59,811 um you know, sessions with a version of this browser. So you see like um, Opera, you know, is down here, Mozilla 2.0. I have no idea where like Internet Explorer 1.5 is going to be on this list, but we'll actually see if it's on here. Um, so yeah, so you can actually click here to view the entire list if you want to, which is what we're doing right now. And now we can scroll down. There's been 293 different browsers that have accessed this website. And obviously that's not like 293 like unique browsers. It's just, you know, different versions of you know, Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer. So we're actually going to do a search here for Internet Explorer here. And apparently it wasn't found. So I wonder if, let me just, let me just try to find just Internet. I wonder if it's IE. I'm kind of wondering how they would have this labeled. Maybe not. Okay. Well, we'll come back to this when we actually view this page in Edge because that has a, a much more advanced search function. Um, but yeah, so that's a list of the browsers that have accessed this website. And then down here, there's an under construction notice because this site is still under construction. And uh, it just kind of gives you a little motto down here of kind of what this website exists for, basically. So it says, the old, the old internet again is an attempt to restore vintage web browsing on vintage computers. It uses the Internet Archive's Wayback Machine API and a proxy that strips out any incompatible JavaScript and stitches together as many links as it can. Uh, and then they have a donation link if you want to actually donate to the Wayback Machine. And you can also support the developers of the old net on Patreon. So that's pretty cool. Um, under documentation, this is kind of like a change log of, you know, some of the f uh, new features that they've added. They've got a uh, legal section, you know, they definitely got to have that, obviously. And uh, yeah, definitely a, a just a pretty cool website. I mean, I've had a lot of you guys kind of say, hey, you should, you know, check this out since you do a lot of videos on like, you know, vintage computers and vintage software. And I think that this is a, a really cool way to just kind of, if you have like an old computer, kind of revisit the, you know, mid to late 90s, like web browsing experience, you know, kind of when the like the internet was really taking off and, you know, people really getting on board with it kind of basically going back in time a little bit. This is almost like a time capsule. I think it's really awesome. Um, but what I want to do now is actually switch over to uh, Edge here where we actually can pull up this same website and take a look at a, you know, a lot of the newer features or just the things that don't work in um, the old version of Internet Explorer right here. And that first thing is the web web browser for modern systems. I think this is a, a really nice touch. Basically what it is, is it's kind of a web browser within your existing web browser that allows you to you know browse the old net. It's kind of been customized. This kind of has a Netscape uh, theme. You can see there's even the logo up here. But they've customized um, it a little bit by adding not only an address bar, but also a year, which is very similar to that front page. So again, I could go to yahoo.com, and let's say I want to view Yahoo in 1997. I can hit go, and now it's going to pull um, yahoo.com from 1997 in this little uh, nested web browser right here, um, if it's actually able to load successfully. Um, which it doesn't seem to be doing. Uh, let's try Google again, google.com from 1997. We'll hit go here. And, uh, and yeah, that's not really working either. It says down here, buggy alpha 0 0.1.0. So I assume this is still in like a development phase is still obviously in alpha. So it might not work 100% correctly, but it is still a pretty cool concept. Uh, we'll just go ahead and let's see if we can load W3C because I was able to work on 
Um, no, that's not working either. So that that kind of sucks. But um, there's also this nav bar for older systems. This is what uh, it, this is very very similar to like the Wayback Machine, where it's got like this little toolbar um, above the actual like website snapshot that it's pulling. So we can again go to say Google.com from 1996. We'll hit go here, and now it's actually going to load Google.com once again. And then there's this button right here, uh, Get the Old Net, which is just going to go right back to the home page. Uh, most visited sites, just again, as I said, it's basically just a shortcut to the most visited sites. So like for WinZip right here, I can click on that and it's going to uh, load a version of WinZip as you can see down there at the bottom from 1996. So here is what WinZip.com looked like and wow, this is this is definitely pretty, pretty cool looking. You can even load up a text version if you want to or a high bandwidth version. Let's actually check that out. Um, WinZip is, if you're not aware, I'm, I'm sure most of you guys are, it's a um, archiving tool, kind of similar like WinRAR or uh, 7-Zip. And one thing that I will say is you definitely can't expect like this website to load all of these older web pages 100% successfully because even the Wayback Machine doesn't do that. There are definitely some sites that, that you'll go to that will not load properly or there might be some images that won't display. And you've definitely seen that here like with that Google homepage where the image didn't load. That could be because, and, and it probably was, because I think I've been able to get it to load before under the regular Wayback Machine, but that was probably because we, we were using that old version of Internet Explorer, but there's definitely going to be times where some images might not, you know, show up correctly, and, you know, you're just going to have to expect that as you use this website. Uh, let's actually sign this guest book. I'm going to actually put in my YouTube uh, name here, Michael MJD, and we're going to say hello from YouTube exclamation point and we are going to sign the guest book but yeah guys I mean that is basically it I think that is most of what I wanted to touch on oh yeah let's, let's just go back to this here because I want to actually do a search for Internet Explorer and see if we can like um, you know or, or, or see if Internet Explorer 1.5 shows up in this uh, I'm gonna try to do control F here which should pull up the find in page come on I think it's loading up here. Come on, Edge, you can do it. There we go, okay. So we're going to type in, let's try IE and try to go through this here. Um, no, that's not it, okay. Explorer, IBM Web Explorer. I mean, I don't know, I don't know what they would be calling it. I mean, MS maybe? No, Microsoft. Okay, maybe it's just under Microsoft, I don't know, because there's no, like, Internet Explorer listing, and I assume there's been people that have accessed this with at least, like, Internet Explorer 6, 7, or, or like, 8, I mean, there, there's had to be at least one, one person out there, but, so it might just be grouped under Microsoft, under this, like, one listing here, wherever it is, yeah, so it, it might just be grouped under that, but you can see people, like, with the WhatsApp browser have been able, like, to actually go to this, uh, Windows Media Player, I guess there's a somewhat of a browser built in there. Actually, I, I think that there is. I think there's some sort of browser built into the Windows Media Player. But there you go, guys. That is a very uh, little brief overview of the oldnet.com. Again, this is just a pretty cool little website that, you know, definitely would be worth checking out, even if it's on like your, you know, modern computer, because it is kind of cool just to kind of go back in time and view uh, these older websites from the 1990s and early 2000s. Uh, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I just encourage you to give it a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever that I upload a new video, which I do every single week on this channel. And uh, as always, guys, I just want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.